Have you ever wanted to stream your own videos across your local network? Movies, TV shows, live TV. Say you want to throw a football party. Either or the American football, European football, or <laughs> rest of the world football for that matter. Americans are backwards a bit. But basically, live TV. You have cable, satellite, you want to stream that through all the devices. You want to stream that for all your devices locally, your friends, on their phones, their pads, the TVs, all that good stuff. Well, in this part one of two, I'm going to show you how to do the movies and TV shows they have recorded in on your hard drives so let's get started and in part two if I can figure out how to do it correctly which shouldn't be too hard I just gotta brush up on a few things server side and uh, we'll show you how to stream it what the heck new already updated it I did a manual update and it triggered the uh, other the uh, system update thing um all right let's get to it create your own video streaming server with linux now i chose this article because it's the easiest and best explained article that i've seen so far it's simple there are other articles that go into it and there's a list of installation instructions that you got to go through but this was pretty simple um, there we go. Come on. Let's get Tilex open. First thing you want to do, and this is, might trigger another update. If it does, I'll pause it and we'll be back. But, basically, let me show you. I'm going to do two commands on one, which are these two right here. I'm going to do it in the terminal. And... Come on. Ugh. There we go. Go ahead and paste this. Paste anyways. Thank you very much. And if you want to do commit two commands in one line, you use the and and sign. Um, I don't recommend new people doing this because uh, you can't screw your system up. Oops. Unless you know what you're doing, I don't recommend you uh, running the the YY flag. Flags, plural. Basically what it does is there's... Uh, if I can talk. Basically if it do, what it does, if there's any questions, it automatically answers yes to those questions. So you don't have to sit there and s type it in and the installation stops. So we're going to do that, and it's going to ask me for my pass. I already did my password. No oh boy. Six can be upgraded or not. Well, I already told it to upgrade it, and it didn't do it. Oh, okay. Good thing I don't have this installed. This pisses me off. It screwed up my uh, server. It screwed up my sources list. <laughs> I had to copy my sources list off my main tower and drag and drop it over to my server because they wanted to update it automatically in the background. And I wasn't even touching my sources list. So that's how I knew it was Ubuntu doing their ESM updates or ESM apps. Anywho, all right. So let's enough me, bitch. Let's clear this back out. So you updated your system. Now, in this article, they use a uh, Ubuntu server. I already had a VM. It's Ubuntu budgie. You're gonna be uh, saving like 700 megabytes of uh, RAM if you run the server part. 
and install it. But like I said, I already had a had a VM of, of Ubuntu Budgie, so we're just going to use this. All right, now what you the three things you're going to need is you're going to need Nginx, OBS, and VLC, or another program that takes in RTMP streams. If you don't like VLC, you can replace that with uh, your uh, video player of choice. So we'll go ahead and uh, put this in there. Hit click paste. And Y. And there she goes for that. We'll minimize this for now. And on your next... I don't recommend doing this through the terminal if you're on Ubuntu. The reason is because I've screwed I I've, I've done this and it's also screwed up my sources list. That's why I was rambling on before. The uh yeah. Um the way you do this with Ubuntu is go up here. Uh, let's click on software sources. That'll hopefully bring that up too. Okay, there we go. Now, this is, if you have NVIDIA drivers, you can add NVIDIA drivers through this. That's the easiest way to do it. Okay. Ubuntu software, canonical support free and open source software, main universe. See, universe is already ticked. So if you were to run that through there, just potentially you might screw it up. So always check your software sources first before you run in the terminal. If you're running a uh, standard desktop. Now, if you're running a window manager, you don't need to be really listening to me. Because <laughs> you know just as much as I do. Probably even more, actually. Officially supported multiverse restricted copyright universe. Yeah, I threw the CD ROM. Okay, we'll close this out. On with the show. <clears throat> okay. You installed Nginx. You made sure the universe repository was ticked on the software sources. Now you want to install this part, which is. Oh, come on, there we go. Let's clear this out. An extension for the Nginx server. It will help you uh, run the RTMP. This should only take a second. On an actual bare metal machine, it'd be like that. This took two seconds to do. Um, let's clear that back out. Let's minimizer. Let's go back. So what we need to do next is we need a nano this configure for this comp file right here so just copy this come on oh come on there we go I wish I could yeah there's a way to put this up the top I need to do that it's irritating the heck out of me okay anyways paste that in there and what nano is it's a text editor to assist you in writing and modifying your config files on a Linux system. So we're already in there. What we need to do is we need to copy this. And put it at the end of this. The reason I like Nano so much is because you can use your scroll on your on your mouse here to navigate around basically it's easier to use in Vim uh, I tried using Vim and uh, yeah I didn't like it. it 
there's more functionality to Vim. But Nano's a lot easier. So, I, yeah, my main bitch is ease of use. Okay. Now you've copied that in there. Now to write this file out is Control O. If you look at the bottom down there, it says file name to write Etsy nginx nginx.comp. Control, whoops, just enter. I almost, almost screwed that up. Control X and it's written. So, what is this? Okay. Right, for the code. Saving the comp because I'm using nano, he says. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, basically, it just tells the Nginx server to use the RTMP for you. And it just pretty much calls everything. And sets it up. Well, not sets it up, but I can't find the right words for it. Uh, next one is sudo system control restart nginx. I'm having a rough time explaining things. You know, you know when you just know how to do stuff and you're trying to tell somebody how to do it and it's just easier to show them That's how I am. <laughs> it's a lot easier for me to show people than it is to describe it because I just know. And plus the chemo kind of screwed up my memory on what certain things are called. So sometimes I uh, have brain farts because of that. Okay, so the system control, restart Nginx. So what's that gonna, uh, make sure I did that right. Okay, so the server's restarted. Now this is for the BSDs, if you're into BSDs. And I recommend you do it. It's honestly, the BSDs are more secure than the Linux is for server side. Okay, we need to get OBS. So now there's two ways you can get OBS. You can go through the repositories and get it, or you can go do the flat pack. Um, the process, the problem is the repositories are usually a couple of generations behind. So if there's bugs in the software at that generation, you're stuck with it until they decide to update it. Where, excuse me, where the flat packs are usually more up to date and they're sandboxed. Meaning if an attacker manages to get, uh, gets, uh, to exploit a vulnerability on the program, they have access to the whole, it's a lot easier for them to have access to the whole system. I recommend using flat packs on 90% of your software at least. You know, like your GUI software, like OBS, uh, Open Office, Only Office, all that stuff. Use the flat pack system. Um, now, if you don't mind, Ubuntu has snaps, and it pretty much does the same thing. Now, there's some back end dissimilarities. There are things that one has that the other doesn't have, but they pretty much do the same thing uh, overall. I mean, there's, it's tip or tat. And the reason I don't like flat packs because they're slower, but Ubuntu is trying to integrate the flat packs for everything into the system. Well, that's not exactly true. They're trying to integrate the flat packs for the system and isolation on their uh, new Ubuntu Core desktop. They have the uh, snaps as an option for the standard desktops like 
uh, Gnome, KDE, all that, you know, Budgie, Mate. So what you need to do now, on with what we're doing, by the way. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and get it through the uh, flat pack, uh, flat pack, through the, through the repositories. So, sudo app install. I didn't sausage sandwich finger that, did I? Yep, I did. OBS does studio. Like why? That's gonna take a minute because it's like 150 or 250 megabyte download. So we're gonna go ahead and pause it. Okay, she's done. Clear it back out. We need to grab VLC. So what we'll do is we'll clear this section out. Type in VLC. Now, if you ever wanted to install more than one program, just like VLC. Uh, ah, here's another program. This is a uh, program editor. Genie, or Genie, depending on how you want to pronounce it. It's tip for tat, tomato, tomato, potato, potato, kind of thing. You can always uh, type in VLC space, the next program, and I chose Genie, so enter, and it's going to install both of them. So the last step, I could te technically have installed VLC and OBS at the same time, but I wanted to show you how to do it with just OBS with a single way of doing it and then how to grab multiple programs. Just a bonus. Just for you. Because that's the kind of guy I am. I am a generous, generous soul. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Now we've installed all three of those. And the problem is I'm in a VM so when I go to open up OBS, it's going to fail because I don't have my GPU pass through. So I have to record. Um, so I have to record the streaming part of yeah, setting it up. Well, actually, you know, I could just set it up on this one and show you how to do it here and then show you on the server how it, how it works and then show you on this computer on the client side. So let's open up OBS. So we'll just open up OBS. I was going to go over the server and record how to set it up, but I'm not going to. Click on OBS Studio. And it failed. So I am going to have to go over there and do it. You know what? Let's minimize this. Uh, control H. And that just killed the server. So. We'll close this out. We'll click on. Oh, I got my OBS recording. Yeah, what the heck? Why not? Okay. Now I'm back in the VM. Because I need to bring this window back up. Come on now. Firefox is a snap, it takes forever load even even in a VM it takes longer in a VM and it just it's irritating okay now you know I could just show you 
drag the window over from uh, over there. So settings, stream, and this is my old rumble stream. This changes every time, so I really don't care if you guys seen that. <laughs> but we clear that out. And I'll show you here in a so second. It's RTMP slash slash uh, the, ser the uh, IP address locally of your server. And I'll show you how to look that up too. 182.168.6 Oops. 68.139 is mine. And then you want to type live and then your stream key. See how that is? Now, if you were to use authentication, you have to put in a password. This is your stream key right here. It's not the securest way of doing it, but it works. And after you're done with that, you click apply, and I don't need to because I don't stream my videos from here. I actually stream to YouTube and Rumble when I get the chance. Um, okay. Let me pause and get the server going. Okay, she's uh, on, but she's not streaming just yet. I wanted to set this up here. Let me pause this one more time again. Actually, I do need her streaming. Just give me a second here. You want to tick on the top left on the media, go down to open network stream. And we want to type in RTMP dot slash slash 182 dot one. My fingers. I got big, big sausages for fingers, so 168. Part of the reason why I never actually went into this professionally. It's one sixty-eight uh, one three nine slash live slash one two three four is my stream key. All right, click on play, and that should work. And there we go. We're looking at my desktop on my other machine, so I gotta reach up over there and pardon the mic noises. My mic's too far away, I gotta move it closer so I can do this. All right, let's minimize it. And click on media, open files. Heck, we'll just open up a directory. Um, movies. Heck, let's open up Disney. Click on open. And it's going to start streaming right uh, in a second. And I will have to mute this pardon the noise actually I'll just there you go Okay, now stream, what I usually do is 
Dang it. <laughs> Keep having to get up. Because I forgot to do this. I apologize. Go up here to uh, video. Full screen. And then there you go. And on your end. Go up here to video. Full screen. That gets rid of the um, window. The window bars for you. Now you can do this with uh Uh now you can stream videos, like I said videos uh TV shows, live streams if you have a uh HDMI to USB capture device. Like I have a uh digital uh converter or if you have a satellite box or um, like a Comcast box you can take the HDMI out plug in the HDMI in which goes into the, your USB on your computer and then capture it that way on your server and then broadcast it and like I said as long as your uh, as long as the device can do uh, RTMP Everybody can watch it on their phones, their pads, all that good stuff. Alrighty, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this segment. Now that I've flubbed my uh, way through this. <laughs> Y'all have a good day. Stay safe. Um... Hopefully you don't mind me uh, stammering too much because I was trying to think and do the same thing at the same time. Or think and do everything at the same time, actually. Anywho, like I said, stay safe and I hope I hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> oh man, I'm doing horrible today. I'm going to be live streaming later. Later on today. <clears throat> Video game. I am out.